And also, with you know, we have never seen such a strong element of celebrity in the race to the White House today as well. And you see that Trump also took the lead on that front too. He was the celebrity. He was the star. We saw in the last week with Clinton, she was actually aligning herself with the likes of J-Lo, Beyonce, Jay-Z, in the hope of garnering more of the star power as well. I mean, speaking of stars, someone actually said to me, looking at the election result, uh, it's most likely that America's first woman president will be Kim Kardashian. Uh, do you think there's any truth in that? Well, you know, I'm biased here because my, my book coming up is called The Kim Kardashian Principle, but certainly Trump has applied the Kim Kardashian Principle and the six tenets of that rule very well to break through at all odds and, at all, and, against, all, um, and against all odds and at all costs. Right, I mean, so you, you think uh, Kim Kardashian or, or Kanye West, they could really be serious contenders for the presidency well, we, uh, we, in com coming cycles? We can't dismiss it. You know, Kanye, Kanye 2020 was trending on um, Twitter um, as soon as um, um, Trump was elected. So um, it's certainly a possibility. Today, the power lies with audiences. It is not with the rhetoric and the images that people are building in a contrived manner. Today, audiences choose who they want to lead them, and whether that is a celebrity, whether that is a politician, or whether that is a business person. I mean, I have to ask you, does this mean we've all gone completely mad, uh, that reality television stars uh, are uh, becoming president? I think it was actually The Simpsons that first uh, really uh, predicted uh, President Trump uh, some decades ago. I mean, where is actually concerning about the issues, about political confidence. Doesn't that matter anymore? You know, I don't think that we're all becoming mad. I think that what we're all desiring is authenticity. We just want to see who people really are, and we want to be able to make up our own minds, whether we want to follow them or not. And I think that's what audiences want today. We see that mostly with millennials and Generation Z who have been born around contrived statements. They've been born around people saying all the right things in all the right ways and then being caught doing something very different behind, behind the cameras or behind the doors. So what people want today is just to see people for who they are, flaws and all, and then they want to decide whether they're going to follow them or not. Professor Senna, thank you very much indeed for joining us. We look forward to your book on the uh, Kardashian factor.